Today we're going to discuss the Morton Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss is blazoned argent, three hinds heads erased sable, belonged to Richard D. Morton of Cheshire, and was found in a 14th century document. The next, associated with County Essex, was that of Mary Morton, who died in 1550, the daughter and heir of John Morton of Ashby Fulville, and she married Francis Smith of Wooten in Warwickshire, that should be a K and 7 H there, and had a son with him named George. Next, the arms of John Morton of Durham. Another ermine, a chevron, and grailed gules. One for Morton of Bosworth in County Leicestershire. There was Robert Morton, alive in the year 1619, who was son of Edward, who was grandson of Nicholas Morton, and great-grandson of William Morton, all of Bosworth. Similar coat of arms with a crest. The arms itself is that of Morton of Morton and Ingleton from Staffordshire. Family that descended from Thomas Morton of Ingleton, who was the second son of Matthew Morton. It was also that of the Mortons of Potter Cotton in Warwickshire. Thomas Morton of Potter Cotton and his brother John Morton rector of Kilworth, were sons of William Morton of Bosworth. Also Morton of Quarendon in Leicestershire. John Morton had five issue. He was the son of Nicholas Morton of Bosworth. Morton of Houghton or Houghton in Shropshire. His arms was born quarterly with five others. The crest is that of Richard Morton, granted in 1516. He was son of Robert Morton, and he had sons Robert, Richard, and James. Another for Morton of Houghton in Shropshire. One for Moortown or Morton. Arms is that of Marjorie Morton, daughter of Thomas Morton, who had son John Morton, grandson Edmund Morton, and great-grandson, or I'm sorry, who was the son of John Morton, grandson of Edmund Morton, and the great-grandson of Michael Morton. Another for the Mortons of Stithians in Cornwall, John Morton, alive in the year 1620, was son of Thomas Morton of Launce of Launceston, grandson of William Morton of the same location and nephew of Oliver Morton, and also born by John Morton of Devonshire in a 15th century document. Coat of arms from Yorkshire it was possibly born by George Morton of Plymouth, Massachusetts, who died in 1624, although another source gives a different arms for him. Argent a chevron between three cushions ermine. One for Morton or Morkton of Lincolnshire. Gules a chevron between three stags heads cabossed ore, found in a document dated around the year 1525. The arms of Sir Robert Morton of Whitehorse, Croydon in County Surrey, alive in the latter part of the 15th century. He was Esquire to King Henry VIII and the son of Thomas Morton, Esquire of Lechdale. The arms of James Morton, a merchant of Greenock, Scotland, 1857. And arms from Belmont, Scotland, 1863. There was Belmont House in Scotland the home of the Matthew Morton family. 
William Morton, born 1849, married Mary Matthew Wilson and had over 12 children with her. And there was John Morton, Matthew Morton, who graduated from the University of Glasgow in 1884. We have the arms of Morton of Holm Walfield in Cheshire. Not sure who this belonged to, but there was a John Morton of Holm Walfield who was commissioner in 1709, and also a John Morton from that location who died around the year 1695. The arms per fess argent and gules, six fleur de lis sable, three, two, and one. Have here I wasn't able to find who it belonged to, but I have a note here it was possibly that of Elias Morton of Kent, son of Philip D. Martin, who bore six fleur de lis. Ewells, two bars there. This was the arms of Hugh Morton, and a document dated around the year 1410, and one from County Kent. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadv.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.